Hello and welcome dear friends. Today I'll talk about Saturn's placement in the fourth house of your birth chart. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. So friends, what is Saturn? Saturn is the planet of profession. It is the significator of our karma or profession in Bhrigunandi Nari astrology. Now friends, Saturn is also the significator of death, of longevity, of sorrow, of obstacles. Yes, so Saturn is also the significator of justice, of hard work, discipline, even research. So Saturn signifies all that. It also, you know, shows, you know, uh, analytical skills because in the chart of the Kalpurush, Saturn is the significator of the eighth house. So eighth house is the house of, you know, research and analysis. Now, Saturn is a slow moving planet. Saturn is very practical, material is very practical and mature, very mature and very realistic. So, now Saturn is sitting in your fourth house. Fourth house is the house of your mother. Fourth house is the house of your mental happiness peace your joy it is the house of it it is it is your home your fourth house your home environment your motherland in the chart of the kalpurush or cosmic man cancer sign rules the fourth house so moon is the lord of the fourth house and moon is also the significator of the fourth house so fourth house also signifies our emotions yes our uh, comfort, our uh, pleasure that we, you know, derive at home. So now Saturn, the planet of hard work, has come to the house of rest and peace and comfort. So what can we say then? So it may make the native who has Saturn in the fourth house a workaholic. Yes, he will be someone who believes in hard work. Yes, because Saturn will make him a workaholic. Even while he is at home, he may think of his work. Because as, as you can see, Saturn's seventh aspect will fall on the tenth house. The tenth house is the house of your profession or work. So he will be, you know, he will, you know, always be obsessed with his work. That is one thing we can say. And friends, if you want to know, in what dignity Saturn is actually placed in your birth chart then you have to look at the zodiac sign in which Saturn is placed where the Lord of that sign is sitting in your chart in which house in what situation in what dignity it is sitting that also you have to see say your Saturn is in the sign of uh, say Virgo so Virgo is ruled by Mercury then you have to see where Mercury is placed in, the, in your chart, in which house and how it is placed. So that will also definitely let you know about Saturn's condition because the Mercury has now, is now the dispositor of Saturn. Then friends, you also should look at the nakshatra in which Saturn is placed. Say Saturn is in Hasta nakshatra. Hasta nakshatra is ruled by Moon. Then you should look at the condition of moon in your horoscope. How moon is placed? In what dignity? Is it somehow connected to Jupiter? Is it in a good sign? Is the aspect of Jupiter falling on moon? So all these things you will have to see. Then you will know that yes, Saturn is, how Saturn is placed. You will get an idea because the nakshatra in which Saturn is placed the sign in which Saturn is placed. That is also very important. And also Saturn has two signs, friends. He is two own signs. They, they are Capricorn and Aquarius. So you have to see where those two signs are falling in your chart. So Saturn is the lord of which houses in your chart. That also you will have to see. That will also color your interpretation. Yes, of Saturn's placement in the fourth house. But whatever I will tell you now, it is a general, okay, 
general interpretation of Saturn's placement in the fourth house. Saturn is also the significator of any kind of construction. So you can say any kind of you know building or building construction. So it is also the significator of your uh, you know uh, you can say real estate property even the significator of house Saturn even vehicles. So Saturn is now seated in that particular house fourth house which also signifies your landed property and you know your vehicles all conveniences. So that means in due course of time because Saturn gives usually good results after the age of 35. So the native will definitely in due course of time be able to own his you know own house. He will have his own house and vehicles so all these things will definitely happen. He may also do well in real estate. Yes, if he takes it up as his profession, he may do well. So, these things are positive. Yes, but usually it is seen that if Saturn is placed in this fourth house, the mother's health may not be very good. The mother may have some health issues, some health problems. So, that also we can say. So, or the mother, you know, there may be some lack of nourishment from the mother in childhood especially. The native may be deprived of the mother's love and care for some reason or the other. That also we can say. Or the native may have some problematic relationship with the mother. With the mother. But then uh, along with time, the relationship may improve if definitely if Saturn you know, if at least is, if uh, some good aspect is there on Saturn, say Jupiter's aspect is there, or if you know, as uh, you know, the net Saturn is placed in a good sign, in its own sign, or uh, in exaltation sign, or in the sign of its friend, uh, if it is placed in any sign, zodiac sign which is ruled by Saturn's friend, then also we can say that along with uh, time, the native's relationship with the mother also will improve but it may cause health issues to the mother. Then friends, what else we can say? That uh, suppose say Saturn is the 12th Lord. Saturn is sitting in the 4th house, but Saturn is the 12th Lord. Then the native may have some unnecessary fear in his mind because Saturn is the 12th Lord. 12th uh, house is the house of unnecessary fear, the house of our imagination. So, the native may be, uh, he may, if Saturn is the 12th Lord, the native may never be able to enjoy, you know, the bliss or happiness at home. No matter how, uh, you know, prosperous he may be, yes, he may be, he may have everything at home, but even then he will, he will always feel there is some lack, because he will be gripped by some unknown fear and insecurity. This will happen if Saturn is the 12th Lord. Yes. Now, if the native is moving towards spirituality, then the situation may be different. Otherwise, the native may be gripped by some unnecessary fear. If Saturn is the 8th Lord, 8th Lord and it is sitting in the 4th house, then the native may, you know, uh, benefit from uh, property that the native may gain from inheritance. The native may also, uh, you know, gain from investment in real estate and all. He may, he may encounter gains. But 8th house, 8th lord, no? If Saturn is the 8th lord, then 8th house also signifies sudden losses and also sudden gains. But then there may be even losses. So that is why uh, if uh, Saturn is the 8th lord, then the native you know, may take some risk and he, you know, may the, he may invest in real estate and he may take some risk and do that. And because of which he may have to experience sudden gains or sudden losses. That also we can say. So friends, all these things, it will depend on Saturn is the lord of which house in your chart. That is also something we have to look at. Now friends, in Nadi Jyotish, we consider a number of aspects as you know. So you can see 
that Saturn's I hope you can see Saturn's first aspect will fall in that particular house where Saturn is there that is in the fourth house itself the first aspect will fall so you will get all these results that uh, you know if Saturn is there in the fourth house then usually it is seen that uh, the native you know uh, may not uh, then he may have everything at home but there may be something uh, lacking he may or he may feel that way that there is some lack because Saturn is also the planet of scarcity and limitation so that he will feel if Saturn is there so usually it is seen uh, that uh, you know this uh, this feeling will be very strong especially till the age of say 30 but after 30 you know or you can say after uh, 35 the situation will be better yes the native will also learn to sacrifice his happiness for the sake of others and then the situation will be you know will take a better turn then friends Saturn in the fourth house also we can say the native may have to take some responsibility of some family member in, in due course of time or maybe he, he may be overburdened with family responsibilities so much so that he may sometimes not be even able to concentrate on his work that also we can say that he may be overburdened with you know duties towards his home and usually if Saturn is placed in this house then friends uh, we can also say uh, that uh, say if Saturn uh, uh, you know the native may also have a chance of you know going away from his home from his homeland uh, for his profession he uh, say he may have to go away from his home that also we can say if Saturn is in the fourth house Saturn is also the planet of isolation so if Saturn is in the fourth house such a native in spite of being within the home he may love to be isolated he may love to remain isolated and uh, he, he may he's he's a workaholic he loves his work so because of his work he may have to also travel away from his home he may have to you know go go away and settle down somewhere else he may have to leave his motherland also or his hometown and go go elsewhere and settle down that also we can say then friends uh, in this is also fourth house is also the house of your school education so some obstacles may be there in school education that also we can say some obstacles some problems which the native along with time he will definitely overcome but there may be some uh, you know obstacles in school education that also we can say so friends now let us go to Saturn's aspects other aspects Saturn's second aspect as you know in Nadi astrology the second aspect will fall on the third house uh, please uh, I'm so sorry friends Saturn's second aspect will fall on the fifth house second aspect is also considered to be very powerful so fifth house is also the house of your education education which will, which usually you acquire after school so again because Saturn's second aspect is falling so some obstacles in the path of attaining education may be there some delay in childbirth may be there some problematic relationship with your children and Saturn is aspecting the fifth house of speculation so it is also better not to you know invest in stock market because Saturn's aspect is there all your gains and everything may be delayed Saturn delays everything yes and Saturn is also the planet of scarcity not abundance like Rahu or Jupiter you no know, they show abundance but Saturn shows scarcity so better not to invest in stocks because Saturn is now aspecting your fifth house fifth house is the house of speculation so it is also the house of your love life so some obstacles uh, may be there even in your love relationship 
then uh, or maybe uh, you know it is aspecting your fifth house so you may fall in love with somebody who is older than you in age that also we can say because saturn is aspecting next let us go to saturn's next aspect friends that is saturn's third aspect third aspect is very important especially for profession it is falling on the 6th house so 6th house is uh, at the house of your routine your daily life yes 6th uh, house is also the house of diseases and uh, you, even it it also represents uh, it also you know signifies even medicines and health also so the uh, person may be in some health service you can say health care service yes because saturn's third aspect is falling on the 6th house so he may be associated with some health care service hmm? that also we can say then friend 6th house is also the house of your enemies saturn is aspecting so but uh, if saturn is in good dignity then enemies will not be able to harm you because you will be very analytical you know saturn gives you an analytical bent of mind it gives you maturity it makes you realistic practical so enemies will not be able to harm you otherwise you may say that uh, if saturn is not in good dignity then okay you may even be troubled by enemies that also we can say but saturn no is its aspect is falling on the 6th house 6th house is considered to be a dusthan bhav a malefic house in general so saturn will restrict even if there are enemies no saturn may restrict them also because saturn is also the planet of restriction so all negative things of the 6th house may be restricted also generally if saturn is more or less okay the position is more or less all right then usually the negative things of 6th house they are restricted even loans and everything they also may be restricted so that is a good thing so so friends this is the uh, this is saturn's aspect on the 6th house third aspect is falling so it may also show that you are you are in doing some job because uh, you know job is something which you have to do which is a, your routine which is job is part of your routine life 6th house is your daily routine so that also your profession may be such that you may have to you know go to the office at a fixed hour come back at a fixed hour even if you are working from home then also maybe you have to log in at a fixed time log out at a fixed time because that is daily routine the now friends let us go to saturn's next aspect that is saturn's fifth aspect which is a trinal aspect in nadi astrology so saturn's fifth aspect friends you can see is falling on the 8th house trinal aspect it is a very auspicious aspect which is around 70 to 75 percent powerful so your profession also may be related to any kind of 8th house matter your profession may be related to occult sciences you can say or uh, if it is your profession it may re be related to some technology it may be related to insurance uh, department to taxation department it may be related to uh, even uh, stocks because 8th house also from 8th house we see stocks maybe you 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 maybe you have invested in stocks and all that also we can say then saturn's fifth aspect is falling 8th house is also the house of you know longevity and death so we can say that the person because saturn's fifth as fifth is a very auspicious aspect so saturn will now delay the death so it may give the native a long life that also we can say then uh, friends also uh, it is also the house of inheritance uh, inheriting property so because saturn is aspecting so there may be some delay some delay in inheriting property that also we can say so these things we can say if saturn's fifth aspect is on the 8th house 8th house is also the house of your in-laws so saturn is aspecting so you may not have a very friendly relationship with your in-laws there may be some restriction or there may be some uh, you can say hesitation uh on your part or on their part it means you may not have a very uh, 
a close uh, relationship with your in-laws yes because saturn is the planet of limitation and restriction that also we can say then uh, now let us go to saturn's seventh aspect friends saturn's seventh aspect will fall on the 10th house there is a direct mutual aspect seventh aspect which is around 50 percent powerful in nadi astrology so 10th house is the house of your profession so saturn is aspecting that house that means uh, saturn makes a person very disciplined also so you will be very disciplined very dutiful yes in your professional life that also we can say and especially after the age of 35 you will definitely rise in your profession because saturn matures at the age of 36 it is believed and uh, and after say saturn completes its one round it for completing one round of transit in nadi astrology we believe that saturn requires 30 years 30 30 years so after that usually saturn you know saturn gives good results so that is why we say that after from the age of 33 or 35 onwards the native can experience will experience good results in even in profession definitely saturn's 10th aspect is uh, sorry 7th aspect is falling on the 10th house so that will make a person workaholic disciplined also yes also because saturn 7th aspect is falling then also if saturn is not in a very good dignity then we can say that there may be some obstacles in the path of your profession that also we can say you are supposed to get some promotion but uh, or maybe you are supposed to uh, whatever you know related to your profession there may be some delay yeah promotion or any kind of uh, you know gain uh, uh, the gains usually we will see from the 11th house but uh, yeah in, even in your professional life you may see that there is some delay you have you know uh, uh, faced an interview and you were supposed to uh, you know get the job but then some delay may be there that also we can say because saturn also gives you delay but if you go on working hard you know with uh, you know sincerity dedication then over time saturn will reward you yes so that is all. saturn is a planet of perseverance and patience then friends after the 10th aspect uh, what we can, after, after the 7th aspect which is falling on the 10th house let us go to saturn's 9th aspect 9th is also a trinal aspect which is falling on the you can say 12th house 12 12th house 9th aspect is falling so 9th uh, 9 is uh, you know the dharma the dharma aspect you can say or the duty aspect the so, dharma is also your duty so maybe 12th house so you will have the person know uh, his profession may be such that which is some related to some spiritual activity you can say it may be related to meditation yoga that also you can say or his profession may be uh, connected to some uh, foreign land because 12th house also, also shows foreign land and Saturn's ninth aspect is falling. Ninth uh, aspect also shows that even the ninth energy, na, ninth house energy, uh, is also travel. Uh, the energy of travel, you can say, traveling to other, uh, uh, to a distant land. So that ninth aspect is now falling on the twelfth house. So maybe for his profession, the native will have to travel to a foreign land and he will settle down there. That also you can say, because ninth aspect is on the twelfth house. So he may have to definitely go move away from his homeland and settle elsewhere in a foreign place which may be within his country in a different state or which may be in a different country altogether. He may have to go abroad. That also. Then Saturn's aspect is falling ninth aspect. Ninth is a trinal aspect. So Saturn will restrict your losses also. Twelfth house is the house of all kinds of losses. Your losses will be restricted. That is a good thing. Saturn will save you from all kinds of losses. But 12th house is also the house of donation. So your tendency to, you know, donate something to the, to the poor and needy. Your tendency to do some charity. That also may be restricted by Saturn. Because Saturn is also, you know, a planet which believes in uh, being very practical at times. Yes? Uh, very practical it makes. Because it has, you know, it will, uh, it is a planet of uh, maturity practicality realism 
so it may even restrict you it may even uh, you know uh, prevent you from donating something to the uh, an unprivileged so uh, especially if saturn is not in good dignity we can say this may happen but then friends we have to remember that donating uh, food or money or whatever we can to the poor and needy that is also a remedy for saturn so you should donate actually you should donate and then saturn in due course of time saturn only will give you the reward for donating something to the needy then friends uh, we can also say that uh, your sleep it is also the house of sleep so some disturbance in sleep may be there then let us go to the next aspect that is saturns this was the 7th 9th 10th aspect saturns 10th aspect is falling on the first house the first house is the house of your personality 10th aspect is falling the karma aspect so uh, you know it is on your first house so your personality will be such that you will love to work you will enjoy your work you will enjoy your profession your profession will be very important for you in life yes that also we can say it will make you very disciplined it will make you organized orderly systematic methodical punctual so all these things it will make you law abiding saturn is a planet of law and order it may make a native a judge it may make a native a lawyer in any, any profession any kind of profession uh, you know the, these professions are also signified by saturn the profession of law then uh, saturn's aspect karma aspect or 10th aspect on the first house so saturn is also a planet of skepticism and doubt so these qualities also saturn made you know endow the native with the native may be skeptical he may he may be doubtful about others that also we can say then he may have the uh, you know propensity or tendency to analyze everything properly so at that analytical bent of mind that critical bent of mind skeptical nature all these things you know these things will be uh, you know granted by saturn to the native so these qualities will be there in the native's personality and also there will be some delay because saturn also shows delay so the native you know will first house is also the house of your personality identity you will be able to establish your identity you will be able to do it is your life actually in a way the first house it is the blueprint of your life you can say so you will be able to attain things in life but then there may be some delay yes but definitely you will attain say after the age of 35 you will definitely be able to you know fulfill your uh, you know desire and you will be able to definitely achieve your goal in life then saturn's 11th aspect will fall on the second house 11th aspect is 30 to 35 percent effective so the second house is the house of your uh, accumulated wealth so there may be some delay in being able to accumulate wealth uh, the person's voice may not be very soft and sweet it may be a little rough and coarse especially you have to look at the dignity of saturn it the voice may not be very or if saturn is in good dignity then the person will be somebody who speaks in a very straightforward manner very straightforward and he'll be very forthright in dealing with others in his speech especially and so it is also the house of your family so some uh, problematic relationship with some family members may be there but with time all these things get sorted then friends saturn's last aspect that is the 12th aspect will fall on the third house the third house is the house of your efforts 12th aspect is 20 to 25% effective third house is the house of your efforts your hard work your will power yes now saturn's th uh, 12th aspect is falling on your third house so 12th aspect is also effective so saturn is aspecting so 
third house is also the house of your initiation beginning something new so there may be some delay you have decided that you are going to begin something new you have decided that you are going to start your own maybe business or enterprise but there may be some delay in that because because saturn also gives delay and uh, saturn's 12th aspect is falling on the third house so some uh, differences of opinion with your younger siblings may be there some delay in your travels short travels third house is the house of short travels some delay you have thought uh, you know you wanted to travel to some place but then there is some delay in your short travels that also we can say third house is the house of your efforts so, you know it is also the house of your uh, you know hard work actually so because saturn is aspecting saturn is also a planet which shows discipline so you may be uh, also disciplined actually in your uh, you know method of uh, you know doing things you may be you may have a disciplined approach you may believe in uh, you know systematically working towards your goal because saturn is aspecting saturn is the planet of discipline it is aspecting the house of of your efforts so some delay may be there because saturn gives delay so some delay may be there but definitely definitely along with time the native will be able to do things in a very planned systematic and disciplined manner he'll be able to you know fulfill his innermost desires third house is also the house of your inner desires so there will be delay in the realization of those desires but you will be able to realize them in due course of time because third house is also an upachaya house and saturn is aspecting and saturn is also the planet of delay and time so in due course of time you will be definitely able to realize your desires your goals in life so friends this is what i wanted to tell you about saturn's placement in the fourth house so please uh, you know do subscribe to my channel and share this video thank you so much